Hussein Kato deals in fruits and vegetables, but he's worried that his produce could go to waste because the buyers are few. Some people have decided not to spend on some products they believe they can forego. This is affecting us as traders. Ugandan consumers say the cost of living is getting out of hand and they need a lot more money to buy just a few goods. A kilogram of beef costs $3.07. Our currency has lost value. According to Uganda's central bank, the escalating prices of fuel and food are largely to blame for the current inflationary pressures. The situation has been worsened by the Russia-Ukraine crisis, which has interrupted supply chains. There's likelihood that inflation is going to rise in the near term further, and that's why Bank of Uganda has been very, very aggressive in terms of tightening liquidity conditions to mitigate that from materializing. The central bank says inflation is expected to peak in the next 24 months due to ongoing geopolitical tensions, adverse weather effects on crops, and associated supply chain disruptions. Next year, 2023, is going to be anywhere between 8 and 10 percent before coming down eventually to 5 percent in 2024. The delayed bringing down inflation to 5 percent is reflective of the conditions I've just described. This means traders like Kato will have to struggle to keep their businesses afloat or collapse. Uganda says it has no capacity to tame inflationary pressures fueled by external factors, but it hopes through tightening the monetary policy it will return inflationary rates to single digits.